Hello and welcome. I assume that you've landed on this video because you either own a hill cycle or you're interested in hill cycles. As usual, if you have any uh, questions, comments, or suggestions, you can always reach me at my email address in the lower left. In this video, I'm going to be showing you some fairly unexpected drive belt activity, at least unexpected to me, during clutch engagement. Let me set this up for you and then I'll roll this video. It's going to be slow motion. I shot this initially during the testing of my 55 amp alternator conversion that I did on my ship. And so I was interested in looking at, at this micro V belt that drives the alternator. It wasn't until I played it back and saw what the drive belts were doing uh, that I uh, grew apprehensive. Now this kit is a group one, so the engine is fairly hard mounted to the frame on either side with uh, really uh, solid hard rubber elastomeric mounts. If you have a later kit, of course, your engine is hanging from the frame uh, with two heim joint assemblies. So when you uh, watch this, notice how much the engine moves around during clutch engagement. The other point I want to make is that I had no uh, rotors on the main rotor shaft. I'm running this uh, in my driveway. And so that means there's no load on the transmission. And I can get that transmission spun up uh, very quickly. In practice, with the, with the rotor blades attached, you're going to have a lot of drag a lot of inertia and so the portion of the clutch engagement where this problem occurs that you're going to see in a minute it's going to take you longer to get through that you can't just run the uh, clutch into the engage position quickly because you'd overstress the transmission because of all that inertia and drag from the rotor so the part where these belts are going to be galloping around, uh, it's going to take longer to get through that. So let's go ahead and roll the tape. I'm going to assume that because you own a kit, I don't need to uh, get down in the weeds about how this works. But in case you're just curious, keep an eye on the belts on the left side and also the movement of the engine. Because of the way this clutch system works, tilting the front end of the engine down to increase tension, the, the, uh, the two pulleys are going to be out of alignment. There's no way to get around that. It's just a question of how you set it up. And the point of me showing you this is just to call your attention to how critical this all is. See the engine moving around? Remember, that's pretty well hard mounted to the frame. What is an engine doing on a later model kit? Good question. Obviously, a much better uh, approach would be to mount the engine so that the drive shaft was uh, in parallel with the transmission drive shaft and increase belt tension by moving the idler pulley. That would be the way to do this properly. I guess um, that seemed to be J. Schramm, the designer of the kit to be too complicated, so he went with this approach. I can't say that I'm crazy about it. I don't think anyone's ever had a, a, uh, a belt actually come out of its slot, but it sure looks like it could, especially if you didn't uh, pay close attention to pulley alignment.
So now we're, we're, we're past the worst point. Things are calming down a little bit. You can see the uh, the clutch arm back there and the, on the very left side slowly going down into the fully engaged position. So it's about halfway. I don't think there's any danger of a, uh, a belt coming loose at this point. I'll let this run. So the engine is still moving around more than I expected. And again, if you have a late model kit and your engine isn't hard mounted to the frame, I'd really be curious to see what the same uh, shot would look like if you ran this test. So obviously the fore aft alignment of the engine is critical. You want the, the drive pulley directly underneath the transmission pulley. But how do you set the, uh, you know, with a late model kit, you can raise and lower the entire engine. That's the reason that uh, that, that mounting system was changed to try and get the uh, shafts parallel. But how do you set that up? Do you want the pulleys in perfect alignment when you begin engaging the clutch or when you finish and they're fully engaged and the engine's running at full speed and you're about to go flying? Good question. I don't have an answer for that. So anyway, this is just a heads up. I would hope that before you uh, start flying your ship, once it's all ready to go, you take a very close look at, at the same thing that I'm showing you here and make sure you're uh, comfortable. So that's it. Just a heads up. I was surprised to see that and I'm not sure that most builders uh, realize what's going on because of course you're sitting at the controls when you're running the engine up and you have no idea what's going on behind you. So that's it. Uh, for what it's worth. Again, if you'd like to contact me, there's my email address. Thanks for watching and happy flying.